This morning, we are catching up with an incredibly talented actor for three seasons, Margaret Qualley, starred alongside Justin Theroux in HBO's The Leftovers. Then she shared a screen with her mom, Andy McDowell, in the series Made. And now, Margaret is the leading lady in Ethan Cohen's newest comedic thriller, Drive Away Dolls. She takes on the role of Jamie, who embarks on a road trip with her friend after a breakup. Along the way, the pair run into a bunch of interesting <laughs> characters. Margaret, good morning. Good so morning. nice to have Hi. you here. That was cool. I want to, like, travel around with you guys and have you just <laughs> intro me. Just talk you up yeah, everywhere my you go. Three Musketeers here. Your we got right you, girl. We yeah, do that this is nice. Time. This movie is so fun. You said it. It was the dream role. What drew you to it? Oh, well, I mean, I'm just, like everybody else, a huge Cohen fan. And so um, when Ethan and Trisha Cook got together to make this, I was just so excited to read it and um, audition and mm. the whole thing. And this is like a part one, right? Are you going to start filming? Yeah, we're doing it, it, we're doing another one called Honey Don't in um, like a month or something. Mm -hmm. Less. Wow. And you have to take on quite the accent, although you have a bit of a southern accent in real life, right? Yeah. You just had to, how do, how do you accentuate that? I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I grew up in North Carolina. My mom's mm -hmm. pretty southern. Um, I, if I have a couple of drinks, I, that accentuates <laughs> it comes out naturally. That's how my Jersey accent comes out, too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's go-to. But, um, well, anyway. But I... For this, I listened to a lot of Ann Richards' interviews, mm -hmm. um, like that keynote address I probably know by heart. And then uh, Tommy Lee Jones mm -hmm. um, was another reference. Yeah. So, yeah. That's really cool. It's, a, it's an all-star cast. You have Pedro Pascal, um, Coleman Domingo, Matt Damon, Beanie Felstein, who will be here literally on Thursday. How was it on set? And Geraldine Viswanathan. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, it was awesome. It was, like, truly... I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but it was the kind of thing where, like, right when I got there, I knew it was going to end too fast and was, like, already kind of, like, teary about it because I loved everyone making it. I loved the script so much and the character so much and um, Ethan and Trisha. So it's just the kind of thing where uh, every second was really precious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We, we also got to ask you, because you're somewhat of a newlywed, although now I guess not, not so much anymore, right? You got married <laughs> last night. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. still claim it. newlywed, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, your husband, Jack, obviously, um, you know, look at, oh, you guys are so cute. Oh. What has surprised you <laughs> about being married? <laughs> um, uh, what has surprised me about being married? I mean, I don't know. I, um... I really like it. I like that there's... Does it feel different? It feels a little different. I like that it would be really hard for him to disentangle himself from me, you know? <laughs> yeah. um, no, it's great. I love it. Yeah. I thought it was really cool that one of your wedding guests was Lana Del Rey, mm -hmm. who actually wrote a song named Margaret after you. I know. I mean, what, how, how does that all come together? What's it feel like? I mean, that's one of the craziest things to ever happen <laughs> to me. Um, of course, yeah. I mean... She's had this, like, long, beautiful relationship with Jack. They make some mm -hmm. of the, my most favorite music in the whole world. Mm -hmm. And um, she wrote this song for Jack. And I um, I, I just adore yeah, Lana. Just I just um, love hearing it. Yeah, yeah, she's like a fairy angel mm -hmm. princess perfect person. <laughs> she seems like. Hearing it for the first time, what came up for you? I think I just was cried. Yeah, yeah, I was just like, what? <laughs> I love you. The ugly tears, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was one of those moments like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of good moments, we, talk, we mentioned your mom, Andy McDowell, who was here actually a few weeks ago, and her and Craig basically went, uh, did a trivia, and she was crowned here queen of South Carolina. I buy she it. She won that <laughs> trivia. We've seen you together before on camera. Any upcoming projects? Not yet, but I'm going to try to cast her as my mom as much as I can, you know, right? <laughs> yeah. I like that idea. Like, you know how Adam Sandler, like, puts all of his yes. friends in all of his yes. movies? That's why I'm trying to be his friend. Yes. I mean, yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to be his friend, too. Um, we have that in common. But I, I mean, yeah, I like the idea of just tagging her as my mom yeah. over and over again. Why, why not? not? It's familiar. Right? It's comfortable. Wouldn't yeah. that be nice? Feels, feels good. Uh, yeah. That's cool. Oh. Thank Margaret. you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much, Margaret. Driveway Dolls is produced by Focus Features, which is part of our parent company, NBC Universal, and the film premieres in th theaters this Friday. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or 
click the link right here.